Hey guys, welcome back to The Marvelous Mark here. I'm here to bring you uh, The Telltale Season 3, Episode 3 of The Walking Dead. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. Um, the episode overall was really good. I thought uh, it had a, a lot of suspense. With uh, You didn't know that David was part of the New Frontier. You just knew that he disappeared a few months ago with his mom and Javi, Kate, and Gabe, and Mariana. They all stayed in the house. And we get to see a little bit of that backstory and how um, they ended up leaving, how Kate and how she's feeling about everything, how she's scared about the walkers and how everything's going. Gabe, he doesn't want to leave the house. He wants to stay and wait for his dad. But Javi and Kate, they, they know that they can't do that, that he might be gone and they had to take their chances out there on the road. Uh, we get to see a little bit more of Clementine's backstory too with the new frontier and what happened with her and AJ. I'm sure you all were wondering what happened with AJ. And uh, Clementine, you have to, in one of, uh, one of the options, you have to take the medicine or you don't take the medicine. And I'm pretty sure mostly everyone took the medicine, gave it to AJ, and you knew the outcome. David gets upset, kicks her out of the new frontier, and then takes AJ away from her, which is, I feel like that's kind of a wrong thing to do. He shouldn't have done that. You know, that's that's basically her her child. Not from her, but from, you know, that's, that's basically the only family that she has. And David, I, I don't really know where I stand with David because I feel like he's a bad guy, but you just, you just don't know that yet. You're going to have to keep Whenever the episodes are all done, the whole season is complete, then you'll be able to judge that because I really don't know. Uh, there were some scenes with Jesus too, and which were really cool, a lot of action sequences, drop kicks, uh, spinning kicks, and he did a lot in there too. And Jesus is a, you had a choice. I don't know if it was really a choice. You either lost him or I think, I, I, I think you lose him regardless, you know? And um, he helped you out a little bit. And he ends up leaving you and going back, I'm pretty sure, back to the kingdom or Hilltop or Alexandria, whichever one. He said back to his friends, so I'm assuming it's one of those. And Javi, he ends up taking a dark turn too. You have a choice to, to beat uh, one of the man's head in with the baseball bat. And you can do it or you can't do it. You can keep forcing yourself to keep smashing the head in. And you get to see a darker side of Javi. Even, I, I forget his name, uh, the man, the, I can't remember his name, the man that's in love with Eleanor, um, he even sees Javi take down this man like that, and he, I feel like he didn't think that was right. Javi knew what he did, what wasn't right in a way, but it's survival, you gotta do what you gotta do, the man was trying to kill him, so what were you gonna do, you know? And later down the line and they go back to the new frontier base richmond and we get to see what is her name joan the leader of uh, leader of richmond she ends up taking down david and javi and basically now she's in control and they are a hostage they are a hostage and clementine's in there the man is looking uh eleanor's basically her lover there he's looking for her clementine is looking for aj from the information that david gave clementine and it's a lot of stuff going on and i feel like in the next episode it's all gonna just be chaos and then in the finale it's gonna be even more you know so i'm really excited i'm really looking forward to it and i hope you guys are looking forward to it thank you for watching the review of the telltale season three of The Walking Dead. Alright, I'll check you guys later.